Right, okay. So, in this question, we're given that PT is equal to PM. And we're asked to prove that PO is perpendicular to SO. And the hint that we're given is that let TMP equal theta and start solving. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, guys, so this is Sakash Education. And this problem really isn't that hard. So let's, let's analyze the diagram. Let's try to annotate anything that we know. Analyze the diagram and I'll pull out some marker that, you know, hopefully works. Right, okay. I'm back. So, in this diagram, we're given that these two sides are equal, so we can state that again. We can say that OS is equal to OT, and the reason being that these are equal radii, the equal radii of the same circle, these two lines. So this one and that one. Next, we know that angle OTP, this angle, we know it's 90 degrees because an angle from the tangent, a tangent and from the center. So the line coming from the center and touching the tangent and the vertex is 90 degrees. It forms an angle of 90 degrees. So angle OTP, angle OTP is equal to 90 degrees and that is because of tangent from external point to vertex of circle forms 90 degrees. So this reasoning is really stupid. I hate how it's set up, but that's just the way it is. So, so we know that this is 90 degrees. And the hint that we were told is to let TMP equal theta. So let's let TMP here equal theta. So now what happens? We are also given that PT is equal to PM. They've given us that PT is equal to PM. So let's use that information. PT is equal to PM. So these both are now equal. That means that this triangle PTM, so triangle PTM or PMT, PMT is isosceles. Oh, isosceles triangle because of two equal angles. So what's the thing in isosceles triangles? Well, the base angles are the same in any isosceles triangle, so the opposite angles for the sides. So, opposite of that, that's theta, and that is equal to theta. So angle, I don't know why I erased that, my stupid mistake. But angle MTP, angle MTP is equal to Theta. So then, what is angle OTM? So angle OTM, so this angle OTM, OTM is equal to 90 minus theta, right? Because if that's theta, that's 90 minus theta. So, okay. So that's, so we know that's theta, that's theta. And then we also know that angle OPT, angle OPT is equal to 90 it's equal to 180, sorry. 180 minus 2 theta, because it's 2 theta here, and then angle sum of a triangle. Let's write angle sum of triangle. So 180 minus 2 theta. So, with that being said, what else can we state? Let's think. We know that OTP is not this. Let's try finding this angle, T-O-M, right? Yeah, because we know this angle, we know this angle, we, need, we can find the T-O-P or T-O-M, the same thing. So T-O-M would be 9, angle T-O-M is equal to 90, that's all right, it's equal to and theorem is equal to 90 plus this 180 minus 2 theta. Uh, look, look, look. 
I don't know what I was saying. Forget everything I said there. We're going to look at the triangle OPT. In this triangle, we know that this angle should be equal when you add this and that should equal 20. So, TOM is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 180 minus 2 TOM. So, that's how you do it. So, if you expand this, we get 180 minus 90 minus 180 plus 2 TOM. So then 180 minus 90 is 90, 90. Okay, that is equal to 180 minus 180 cancel out. So that's 2 theta minus 9. So angle TRM is equal to 2 theta minus 9. So that angle. Now, what we can do the next step, we can just prove that these triangles that OTM and SOM are congruent by the side 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 method and prove it and then say that it's also equal to 90 2 theta minus 9 but we want to find theta and then we want to give a specific answer right we want to prove that it's 90 degrees that's how that's the only way we can prove that something is perpendicular we want to prove that that's 90 okay so let's say the alternate approach and let's try angle sum of triangle so now, okay, let me just see. Okay, we still have space. So, angle sum, let's straight the triangle SOT. So, try in triangle SOT. So, in triangle SOT, what we can say in this big triangle is that this is equal to what's OTM? OTM is 90 minus theta. So, we can, we know that 90 minus, so, no, wait. What's the angle sum of this triangle? It's TOM, it's angle TOM plus MOS plus angle MOS plus this angle OSM, OST, angle OST plus this angle, which is STO. So we know that because this this triangle is an isosceles triangle, this OST. These two angles are the these two lines are the same. So these two angles, the base angles, must be the same. So we can go on and say that this, the OTM, is equal to OSM. So OTS, so these ones are equal. So you know how these ones are 90 minus theta? We can just go put two 90 minus theta. Okay, these two. Now, what about the TOM and the SOT? So, TOM we know to be 2 theta minus 9. So, let's write that plus 2 theta minus 9. 2 theta minus 9. Okay. And then we do not know what SOM is. We can't assume that it's the same as that. So, let's just write plus SOM, angle SOM. And that must equal to 180 because that is the angle sum of triangle rule. So, with that being said, let's go and simplify this. Angle, let's put angle SOM to the side. Let's make this the subject is equal to, that's 180. 180. Let's move this 2 theta. So minus 180 minus 2 theta plus 90. And then it's plus, this is 180. This is 180. So it's minus 180 and then so sorry for this thing minus 180 and that's 2 into theta minus 2 theta that'll be minus 2 theta but now it's plus 2 theta okay. is that right is that expansion right yeah i think so so now we can just cancel out 180 minus 180. We can cancel out 2 theta minus 2 theta and we're left to it just 9. So angle SOM is equal to 90 degrees. What is angle SOM again? SOM. It's this angle. So we have proved that this angle is equal to 90 degrees. So if this angle is 90 degrees, we know that the contrary or the converse theorem 
is that angle from this. You know that the angle that is perpendicular when it's something is nine. Sorry, you get everything I said. We know that when an angle makes ninety degrees, that it's perpendicular to that, right? So if there's a triangle like that, we know that that is perpendicular. So we have proved that because we said angle that's so almost equal to ninety degrees, we have essentially proved that PO is perpendicular to SO because this is PO. We have proved that this PO is perpendicular to SO by saying that this angle that they intersect at is ninety degrees. Hopefully you guys understood this. Take a screenshot of this and do whatever you want. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.